so we are going to discuss wireframe modeling and surface modeling so in computer aided designing uh, there is a part called geometric modeling geometric modeling means we are constructing the model of a geometry in the software and that is called geometric modeling and uh, we are having wireframe modeling and surface model <clears throat> while using the advanced software we can see that we are able to get the representation of the given geometry in edges that means uh, sometimes say we are having a cube or uh, we are having a cube it is a solid cube or we are having a hollow structure like this where we are when we are looking from this side we are we will be having a hollow structure here when we are looking from this side we will be having a hollow structure and the wireframe of these three figures can be represented like this so that means here we are representing the wireframe by edges so the problem is if we are representing by wireframe we cannot identify how the actual figure exactly looks like but anyway we are able to obtain many ideas like uh, here we do not know whether uh, we have any inside components or not but if we are getting the fm suppose if we are having some hole inside it in wireframe we can exactly see that boundary so that is the peculiarity of this wireframe modeling uh, where we are representing the given structure by use of edges now in surface modeling the component is represented by the surface or the component is developed from developed as a combination of the surface that means here even though we are having uh, the model 3d model like this we will be representing it by use or we will be making it by use of surfaces so we have when we are uh, having views in the upward we will be having two surfaces here we will be having these two surfaces from the when we are having the front view, we will be having these two surfaces. So, uh, similarly, when we are having view from the downward portion, we will be having a view like this. So, these all views are combined together to get the our exact solid model. That's what we do in surface modeling. So, in wireframe modeling, the uh, here if you are going for the wireframe modeling, we will be having somewhat like this. That is, we will get the combination of all those edges, but. Uh, we are not able to get the we are not able to fully understand our model the complexities in our model that can be represented from here here we are unable to by looking at the wireframe we are unable to identify whether this four stands for this one, figure one figure two or figure three what three figures have a common wireframe four and in surface modeling the model is developed from the surface as a combination of the surface thank you